Alright guys, um, today I have a little video for you guys on my Galaxy S3 and I'm going to show you guys how to install Lean Kernel on this device which allows you to overclock your CPU and just makes the whole device run a little bit better. Um, so, to kind of get into this and show you what I'm doing here, I'm going to go into my system tuner app and show you my CPU uh, frequencies. So as you can see, my max frequency right here is 1.51 gigahertz and my min is 384 megahertz, 384 megahertz. So those are my min max with the kernel I'm running right now, which I will show you in settings, about phone, and I'm pretty sure this is the stock kernel that comes with Jelly Bean on the uh, Galaxy S3. So right there you can see it. Um, nothing real special about it. So that is the kernel you're running right now. Um, so what we're going to do is, so first let me go over some prerequisites I guess for you guys. Uh, you're going to go ahead and you're going to have to have um, an unlocked bootloader is one. A custom recovery installed is two. Obviously to have those you probably have a root access also. Um, so make sure you have those things if you don't watch other videos I have on doing all that. But if you want to overclock your CPU, basically you have those things met. You have the file, which I'm going to show you guys. It's in my SD card under downloads, and it's this file right up here. There's a lean kernel dash S3 Verizon TouchWiz dash Jellybean. So I'm running um, basically TouchWiz, but it is a custom ROM. It is called um, Rage Touch. A uh, guy by guy makes uh, Rage ROM. Uh, makes this so it's Rage Touch ROM and it's basically stocked with some tweaks so it should work uh, by installing this kernel so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and power off the device and we're gonna do that by hitting restart and then we're gonna say reboot recovery if it was a custom ROM you can do this otherwise you'll have to get it to into it the old-fashioned way by um, I think you hold power the bottom button here and then volume up I think gets you into recovery and then as soon as you see it flash recovery, you let go of volume and you keep holding the other two. Um, or if you have a custom ROM that has the reboot to recovery menu, you can just do that and it's quite a bit easier. But I have installed, yes it is, Team Win Recovery Project. So um, first thing I'm going to do though is I'm going to make an Android backup because um, in case something goes wrong with this kernel, it's, my phone starts acting real goofy, I want to be able to restore that. Uh, back to the original kernel and back to where I was before everything got changed. It's always a good thing to make a backup, so we're going to go right here. We're going to back up everything. Um, micro SD is my storage location, that's good. And then I'm going to call this Rage. And hit go. And my backup name is right up there. Very good. And we're going to go ahead and do their backup. So I'm going to let this backup run and then we'll come back to it and I'll show you guys how to flash this kernel and show you how it works. Alright guys, my backup has completed. So I'm going to actually unlock the device right there. And it says reboot system, but we're not doing that because we just wanted to make the backup so we can go ahead and flash this. So we're just going to go back twice with the back button down there in the bottom right. Um, so when you flash a kernel, you don't have to wipe anything, which is really nice. You don't have to go to wipes, don't do any of that stuff. You just go to installs, and then you got to find the file you're looking for, which I think it's on here. Let's see. It's not in external. So we're going to go to SD card, downloads, and there it is. See LK is lean kernel, then it's S3 for Verizon, then it says it's for TouchWiz, it's for Jelly Bean, and then it's version. So we're going to go ahead and select it, and then all you got to do to install this is go ahead and swipe across, and boom, done. Very, very simple. So we're going to reboot, and just remember if, you, if it has any problems, the things crashes, it won't boot up, and the first boot may take a little while, um, but, if, but if you have an issue, you can always get back into recovery. Um, and torque recover and restore your backup and you'll be back to business but let's go ahead and reboot system and there we go so I'm gonna let this boot up and as soon as it boots up I'll show it to you guys okay well that first boot took no time at all very very simple I didn't see any issues with it at all so let's go ahead and go into our settings on our device 
uh, right here. And let's see what kernel we have now. There we go. That's the 3.080.80. I'm sorry, lean kernel. And you can see the kernel has changed. We're still on our same ROM. All that's all the same. Um, but let's go into our System Tuner app and actually look to see if we can now overclock and change things. So we're going to go into CPU. And okay, so your min is the same, but you can see you have extra slots up there to increase your maximum. So let's see what we can go to. So we got one slot just increases you up a tenth of a gigahertz and there you go so there's a bunch of them now you're at 1.8 and you can go all the way to 1.9 gigahertz if you guys want to overclock to that I think I'd be pretty happy at 1.8 you know that overclocks me 300 megahertz over stock that sounds like a pretty good speed for me my min's gonna stay the same um, there are gonna be more governors in here interactive X there's a couple def extra governors that have changed in here. I'm not going to really mess with that. I just really wanted to overclock my processor, and this has accomplished it with Lean Kernel. So um, I am going to go to Settings. Oh, go back to Settings. And then Complete on Boot. All right. So Apply CPU Settings on Boot. And then it's going to apply these two settings just like it is on Boot. That's what I'm looking for. So there you go, that is how to overclock your Galaxy S3 Verizon version using Lean Kernel. Um, hope you guys like this little video. I'm gonna like it, check it out. Hopefully this thing runs good for me. Like I said, if I have any issues, I'll restore my Android backup. But I think it'll be good. Lean Kernel's been out for a long time. It's a well-known kernel and seems to work out well on other devices I've used it on. So hope you guys like this. As always, check me out right up here at RootJunkie.com. Follow me right over there on Facebook or Twitter. And we will catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.